Morning everyone, thank you so much for coming. My name is Maria Calderon, legal researcher and media relations for the Senate Minority Research Office. We're here this morning to present the Senate Minority Alternative Biennium Budget for fiscal years 2016 and 17. And with us is Senate Minority Leader, Senator Sam Sloan. Thank you, Maria. Good morning, everyone. And thank you for coming. This is the fifth year that the Senate Minority has presented an alternative operating budget. And the whole idea is to present something that is responsible, that's balanced, but that gives tax relief and shows a new direction for budgeting for the state of Hawaii. But our beleaguered taxpayers and small business people uh, usually are just caught up in the numbers, the billions of dollars that are spent on uh, programs and agencies, and it keeps increasing. And while this year the governor's budget uh, had a smaller increase, it nonetheless is still an increase. And we're going to go into detail for that in just a moment. I would like to remind everyone, however, that uh, a couple of weeks ago, the Senate Minority also introduced the Hawaii Open Budget, which is a nonpartisan tool to educate uh, and to allow people to learn more about the budgeting process. I know a lot of people say it's complex and they start rolling their eyes. This is an on-site tool, interactive, that allows you to uh, learn the nomenclature and also to work with the budget, find out where the various departments get their money, uh, the, the breakdown in funds and, and so forth. So hawaiianopenbudget.com uh, is an opportunity for you to work with that. Now the alternative budget, uh, which as I say is now in its fifth year, is a way of showing an alternative way of presenting the governor's budget. And uh, also a reminder, we start out with the governor introducing his budget to the House, the House making amendments, sending it over to the Senate, the Senate amending it, uh, and then we'll go into conference committee. But the uh, Senate minority always looks at it a little differently, looks at ways of cutting, looks at ways of, again, putting money back in the pockets of Hawaii's taxpayers. So without further ado, let me introduce our budget director, Mr. Paul Harlan. Paul? Uh, well, I'm here to give you a brief overview of the uh, Hawaii Senate Minority Alternative Budget for the fiscal years 2016 and 17. The um, Hawaii Senate Minority Alternative Budget advances three core policy uh, priorities. Number one, it uh, reduces the cost of living for um, Hawaii's taxpayers by an average of $600 through uh, specific tax reforms. Number two, it, it improves the business climate for small business owners by uh, repealing the corporate income tax and the inheritance and estate tax. Number three, it makes government less expensive and more effective by um, consolidating administrative programs within the uh, Department of Health and Human Services. Guided by these principles, the Senate Minority Alternative Budget uh, accomplishes the following. Number one, in contrast to the governor's and house budgets, the Senate Minority Alternative Budget balances the state budget in both the short and long run, while also uh, providing more than $425 million in tax relief in fiscal year 2018. Number two, in comparison to the governor's budget, the Senate Minority Alternative Budget includes $1.5 billion less spending and $927 million less spending in comparison to the House budget. As of now, I would like to uh, provide you with some uh, specific details of the budget cuts that are uh, included in the Senate Minority Alternative Budget. Our budget includes a total of $25.2 billion in um, appropriations for fiscal year 2016 and 17 which is $1.5 billion less in comparison to the governor. The uh, proposed $1.5 billion in cuts um, consists of the following. $665 million were already included in the um, House budget that passed um, a few weeks ago. So we took the um, House position on those budget cuts. $566 million in cuts were uh, derived from denying any uh, additional funding for collective bargaining increases. And $350 million in cuts are derived by extending the current 
executive uh, restrictions on uh, discretionary general fund um, appropriations, as well as by freeze uh, by imposing a um, hiring freeze on vacant positions that are funded by general funds. An additional thirty-six million dollars is derived from um, consolidating uh, duplicate administrative programs within the Department of Health and Human Services. And finally, $8 million is derived by reducing the general fund um, appropriations of various low priority government programs uh, within the Department of Agriculture, Business and Economic Development, as well as the Department of Labor and Industrial Relations. With the highest cost of living and a uh, deteriorating business environment, the Senate minority believes that tax reform could uh, reposition Hawaii's economy and make it more competitive in the long run. Although revenue losses are often cited uh, as a barrier to comprehensive tax reform, our budget proves uh, the um, contrary and, and shows that um, Hawaii taxpayers have a clear uh, decision to make. Uh, for more details on our budget, um, you can visit our website, which is um, www.hawaiialternativebudget.com. Thank you, Paul. Uh, again, this is a responsible alternative to more expenditures and a continuing path uh, of greater government. And I'd point out, one of the contentious issues is the collective bargaining increases, and they amount to nearly $1 billion, and we've cut those out. These are increases, remember. We feel that they are excessive at this time, and without any taxpayer or small business relief, they don't provide the balance that we need in Hawaii to improve our business climate. Uh, if there are any other questions, we have a question? Yes? What are the uh, low-priority government programs in AG, DBAT, oh? and DLIR? Yeah, in, in DBAT, it's the uh, Hawaii uh, Strategic uh, Development Corporation, which is already funded by special funds. So we're not cutting the entire program, we're just uh, removing the general fund um, appropriation. And within the uh, Department of uh, Business Economic Development, we uh, eliminated the Office of uh, Aerospace. We don't think that's a, uh, a significant uh, priority for the state currently. Uh, within the Department of Agriculture, uh, we uh, reduced the general fund um, appropriation for the rabies and pest uh, control program, which is already funded by special funds. And in the Department of Labor, we reduced the um, appropriation for the um, occupational um, employment standards program, because again, that program is um, already funded by special funds as well. Thank you. There's no um, additional questions. Uh, thank you all for coming.